question four. This come under the topic function. All right. We see what happened here. It say the function f is defined as hmm, f of x is one third x minus two. You see that? It's really one third multiplied by x minus two, but you know, don't bother with the multiplication sign between a letter and number. So it's a one third x and minus two. What it says, find the value of f of three plus f of negative three. All right. You have to realize that when you say f of three, first of all, you have f of x, right? You first of all have f of x equal one third x minus two. Well, guess what? This time it's a f of three. So you're going to have to get rid of the x and put three instead. No, not x. Right here is not x, it is 3. But here it's a x too. So what you must do, get rid of this x. It's not x anymore, it's 3. So you have to put 3. But then you have number here and number here. So you have to put multiplication sign. So it's 1 third times 3 minus 2. So this part, f of 3. It's going to be one third times three is what? Three no three one time, three no three one time. So it's really one over one times one, which is one minus two. And that gives you what? One minus two is negative one. Then it says f of negative three, right? So again, you have your f of x equal one third x minus two one third x minus two but then here says one f of negative three so it's not x anymore so here you're going to get rid of the x and instead of x you have negative three right same thing here you must get rid of the x here <coughs> and replace it with what they say here, which is negative 3. Put the negative 3 in bracket. All right. Well, within one third and a negative 3 in bracket, you don't necessarily have to put the multiplication sign. All right. You can put it there if you want, though. One third times negative 3. So, here. One third by negative three. Three into three, one. Three into negative three, negative one. So you have one over one times negative one, and that will give you a negative one, right? Then you put back your minus two here. But negative one minus two is what? It's like you owe one million dollars. And you borrow two million dollars so you are in depth of three million so you have a negative your account is negative three million all right so negative one minus two is negative three now the thing is f of three is negative 1 so you have f of 3 is negative 1 plus f of negative 3 f of negative 3 is actually negative 3 see that so plus negative 3 this will be the same as negative 1 minus 3 
and the answer you get is negative 4. Alright, so again, you have f of 3, so you're going to have 1 third 3 minus 2. 1 third of 3 is 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. You have a million dollar in your account, you borrow 2 million dollars, you eventually owe 1 million. So you have an account of negative 1. Here, you have f of negative 3 now. f of negative 3 is 1 third negative 3 minus 2. 1 third of negative 3 give negative 1 minus 2. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So, f of 3, which is negative 1, plus f of negative 3, which is negative 3, is negative 3 minus negative 1 minus 3, that gives you negative 4. So, the answer here is negative 4. For this now, calculate the value of x for which f of x is 5. Let's see how this part go now. This is part 2. f of x is negative 5. f of x, according to this, is 1 third x minus 2. They say f of x is not negative 5, positive 5. f of x is 5. So, I will rub out this. This is f of x, but I will no longer have f of x there because they say in this case f of x is 5, so I put 5. And you want the value of x. Now I have an equation here. I want x equal, x alone equal. My problem is that I have a one third. And a minus 2 as well. I need to get rid of the 1 third. I need to get rid of the minus 2. So what do I do? Let me write back this. 5 equal 1 third x minus 2. Get rid of the minus 2 first. How do you get rid of the minus 2? If you have negative 2 plus 2. Then you're going to have 0. So over here you're going to have 1 third x. And you don't have to worry about this anymore. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. But guess what? I just added 2 to the right hand side. In order to maintain balance. I must add the same 2 to the left hand side. So you add 2 here. You must add 2 here. 5 plus 2. 7. So I have 7 equal one third x. Now, what I really need is x equal, not one third x equal. So I need to get rid of the one third. So, what happened? I have 7 equal one third x. What I can do is multiply by 3. I multiply by 3 here. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 3, 1. And I have 1x. Same as saying x. I don't have to write the 1. Now, let me backtrack. I multiply the right hand side by 3. I must multiply the left hand side by 3 too. To maintain balance. So, 7 trees, 21. So, 21 equal x. I can switch it around and say x equal 21. So, the answer here is 21. From what I remember, I have 2 marks for 1 and 2 marks for 2. And then, I think it's the same, 2 marks they give for part 3. Part 3 says, determine the inverse, f inverse of x. Determine the inverse function, f inverse of x. Alright, so that will be part 3 f inverse of x. First of all, my f of x according to this that they have up here 
f of x is one third x minus two. No. In writing inverse, you have a, a nice little way of doing it. I rewrite the f of x as y. Y equal one third x minus two. Then I interchange x and y. So that I have x equals one third y minus two. Then I'm going to transpose and make y the subject. No here I have one third y minus two in order to make y the subject I'm going to have to do something similar the working similar to this right I'm going to get rid of the minus two and get rid of the one third so I have y alone equal no remember what me do here remember what me do so get rid of the two same thing here. So one third y minus two. What did I do? I add two. If I add two, I'm going to get rid of the minus two and the two. So over here, I have one third y alone. But the fact that I add two a while ago. To the right mean that I must add 2 to maintain balance to the left so I have x plus 2 well remember earlier I had 5 plus 2 and I get a single number 7 unfortunately for me now I can't add the x plus 2 and get rid of, rid of anything and get a single number so I just have to keep the x plus 2 here but anyway so it is after that, I have x plus 2 equal 1 third y. But guess what now? I have to get rid of the 1 third. Let me space, leave a little space between this and the y. I must multiply this by 3. If I multiply this by 3, I'm going to have 1 third by 3 is 1 so it's really 1y one alright but anyway I don't need the 1 anymore can get rid of the 1 and keep my y so I have y equal so far but what did I do a while ago I multiply the right hand side by 3 I must multi I multiply I must multiply the left hand side by 3 too it's going to be 3 times all of this so I have to put the bracket there all right now if i multiply three by what you have inside the bracket i'm going to have three by x plus three by two all right so three by x is three x plus three by two is what three two six equal y y equal three x plus six after that now, I'll change my y to f inverse of x. f inverse of x is equal to 3x plus 6. Alright, nice. <coughs> 3x plus 6. So the answer for this is 3x plus 6. Just before I finish off. Let me just test it out and see if what I did here really work. If I put a number into this, I have, for example, one third times six minus two. I'm going to say three no three one, three no six two is two minus two equals zero. I put a number into this, I get an answer, 0. Let me put the number that I put here is 6, alright? Let me put the answer into this and see if I get out back the number. 
just to test if I'm right. Well, in the exam, you wouldn't really have time for that, but we're not in exam right now, so I can have a little fun. Put the answer into this. 3 times 0 plus 6, what I get out is the number. So if you want to test if you're right, put a number into this and you get out an answer. Put the answer into the inverse, you get, you get out back the same number. So again, put a number into the function, it gives you an answer. Put that answer into the inverse, you get out back this number. All right? That will always work. So, anyway, that is it for question 4A, 1, 2, and 3. See you later.